what's up guys Bobo here and uh, today I'm bringing you a tutorial um, I know I've said I would release it uh, earlier but I got pretty busy by doing like all a lot of backgrounds recently and uh, I'm I'm sorry about that um, <laughs> it shouldn't happen anymore um, I took like a, a week around a week to release this tutorial I'm sorry about that um, so yeah today I'm bringing you this tutorial it's a pretty simple and pretty quick tutorial there is nothing complicated about it uh, I'm going to show you how I do my lighting effect um, the, the lighting effect uh, let me let me see if I can get you like a, an example of it quick I should have opened a tab already before I started my tutorial I'm dumb sorry about that uh, okay here. where did I use it I used it here uh, Uber. 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 sorry about that all right there you go um, I'm talking about the lighting effect around the character here the legs and here um, just want to make sure you see it and you know what I'm talking about before I start my tutorial. Uh, so it should be around here, there it is. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do this lighting effect. I got a lot of requests um, of people asking me how I did that. It's a really, really easy um, effect to do. You can do it in pretty much any Photoshop. It's really simple to do. So, alright. Let's get started. It's gonna take like two or three minutes to do. So yeah. Alright, now all you have to do is uh, get your character. You cut the green screen and all that stuff and you just put all the effects you want around it. And then you're gonna do the uh, the, the light effect. So I've put all my uh, texture enhancement that you can go check out on my channel if you want to know what I do to enhance my, uh, my texture and all that stuff. Uh, I have a tutorial about it. It's called Texture. Sure, a little texture improvement, I think. Something like that. Anyway, it's not important. <laughs> so yeah, all right. Now, whenever you're done with all the effects you want to apply on your character, what you're going to do is go on the last layer of your character, the last character layer you have. So this is my last character layer, the little glue effect around my character. And I'm just going to go under it, and I'm going to create a layer just under my last character layer here. And on this, uh, on this layer, all I have to do is select uh, a brush, um, a pretty big brush. Uh, just to, you need to like select around um, this size, if your character is the same size as mine, so that you can like put some uh, some white color around the legs and around the face and around, around the shoulders, and you know so that you can see a little glowy effect uh, all around the character and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in a second. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to select, I select, I usually select a white color here. Um, just because I'm going to color the, the light with the with the outer glow effect later. And uh, yeah, so I just select a, a white color. And uh, on the last layer I've just created, under my character layer, I'm going to go ahead and just start drawing like this on my character, on all the shape of my character, just like this. I'm gonna go all the way to the top. You can go all the way to the top if you want some light over his face and all that stuff. And yeah, I'm just gonna go like this. And that seems about right. So we're all, we're already almost done. Uh, all you have to do now is select your first character layer, or just your your character layer. You don't have many character layer like I do. Uh, and you're gonna select control, your control key on your keyboard, control and left click on your first character layer. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna select the whole shape of your character like this. And uh, then you're gonna select your light layer on the bottom, right here. The layer you just, just draw on. And you're gonna hit delete. And I'm gonna show you what it does. If I turn off my layers here, and um, you see the shape of my character. I just erased it on the on the light layer. And uh, yeah, now all you have to do is select your light layer here. I'm going to filter on top. I'm going to blur. Select radial blur. All right. So you select this. All right. Now you get a bunch of settings like this. Uh, you're gonna select zoom and 
the best quality. And usually I put the amount at around um, around 24. Because if I want more uh, radial blur, all I have to do is select Ctrl F and it's going to reapply another uh, real, radial blur effect over the effect I just apply on the layer. And I'm going to show it to you in a second. So yeah, all I have to do is that. And you can play with, the, with this here, you can move it. But I'm not going to move it, I'm going to place it in the center. Because if you move it, let's say like this, um, this is uh, what your, where your light effect is going to gonna go uh, it's gonna point I don't know if you know what I mean it's just gonna like all your lies gonna go to the to the right completely to the right since your character is on the right because this is a pretty much like um, just a draw well not a drawing but like it represents your your um, your wallpaper and so if my character right now my character is around here so this this shows me where uh, these line shows me where the light is gonna go to so if I point, if I want my my uh, my character, uh, the light to go, just to go to straight in front of me to the middle of my screen, um, I'm gonna have to place my character in the middle of my screen directly, and then apply the radial blur, and then it's gonna it's gonna point toward me. I'm gonna show you. I don't, I'm I'm not sure you understand what I'm talking about. My English is not that good yet, so I'm just gonna put the. Well, actually, I'm gonna show you like this, right? And then I'm going to show you what I mean through this. So I go into blur, radial blur, you do the same setting as I said, zoom, best quality, 24 or 25, doesn't really matter. And then you hit OK. See where the light points? That's what I'm talking about. If I had put my character in the middle of my screen, oops, I disabled unable there, thank you. And if I had put my character in the middle here, well, let's say that's the middle, and the light would have come towards me, and it would have looked different. And if I had put my character here, the light would have pointed to the left. So that's what I was talking about. So I'm gonna stay here. All right. So now that you have this, you should have something like this. Um, I want I want more uh, more light because it's not uh, it doesn't really look like a cool lighting effect. And uh, now you can put your light, uh, your light layer on top of all your layers, all right? Because it's gonna, it's gonna do make an effect like the, the light is over a character, and I don't want to just create a cooler effect that if you put it behind your character. So you put the layer on top, and then you can already put the the glowy effect. Um, so you select your uh, your light layer. You go into effects on the bottom here, and you select all your glow. And then you can select pretty much any color you want. Just uh, let's see this blue because it's a uh, paladin with some blue and golden uh, color on it. So I guess that fits. Play with the settings. I don't know what you want, what settings you want. Um, I usually don't push too much size. I play with the range effect to make a more bright light. So, yep, yeah, you play with it. Doesn't really matter. Let's say, let's say that's fine. All right, and click OK. All right, now if you want uh, more light, well, if you want to make like a light fade out a little bit more, um, you just control, you hit Control F on your light layer. Control F, and see what it does. It just reapply a radial blur over and over again. So you you hit Control F till you find a cool light effect light effect you want and uh, that's pretty much it guys that's all you have to do to get a cool light effect so i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to leave a comment to tell me that i'm the best uh, editor in the world i always appreciate it um i'm almost at uh, 100 subscribers i really appreciate it guys uh, i'm gonna do a giveaway soon as soon as i hit um, 100 subscriber i'm probably gonna give away uh tons of backgrounds i don't know i'll, I'll see that uh, I'm not sure yet, but yeah, uh, I want to thank you all for that, and uh, I'll see you in my next video, my next PR, or my next tutorial, so see you next time, guys.